Welcome to our Monday mail mayhem because <laughs> it's kind of crazy on Mondays with all the we're sales. We're the Portland Pickers. The Portland Pickers. And we're here to show you what sold over the weekend. Yeah, so let's just get right into it. This is the second week, so you already know the routine. You know what we got planned. And if you don't, but you well, don't. you're going to know now. So... Here yeah. we have, um, this is an older style computer mouse. And this, go ahead and show that connector right there. That is called a parallel port cable. How the beauty gurus do it. And with it is its uh, software manual and pad, which is really cool. It's like a sheet aluminum. Uh, this sold for $38. As a little kit. Old mouses. Who would have thunk it? In the same vein. This also sold this weekend. This is an Apple mouse. This is an early computer mouse um, from Apple. This sold for 65 bucks. This kind of connects That's right. Single button. And, uh... How this? much? This sold for 65 That's crazy. Going international, and they paid $20 shipping. Wowie, 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 wowie. Here is a Motorola. Um, I don't know if this one's submersible or not. Those ones are higher value than uh, just uh, non-submersible handheld mics. Now this would connect to a CB Testing. radio, portable radio, or uh, where I got it, I got this from the librarian's uh, liquidation sale. There's a whole bag of different style mics. Um, I paid 10 bucks for the Where whole bag. Where they were just using them as props, probably. Either as props or on set. Um, people working on set were using these mics. This sold for 65 bucks. Um, it does matter. So like there's a model number on the back. Make sure that you, you know, always li list the correct model number and whatnot. Um, yeah, these range from like 20 to bucks and up. Let's see. Here we have a boat part. I sell these occasionally. I mean, it doesn't really matter what it looks like. Um, maybe it does. You don't get to see what it looks like. It's in a box. What? Did that you sold say? for 40 bucks, something like that. And you had bought out a whole... I bought out um, boat a, operation. Someone had a boat repair business operating out of their house. They had all their back stock, inventory, new old stock stuff. And on the last day, I just went through find the person in charge, find the deal maker and get down to the chicken nuggets and Dunk the sauce <laughs> and figure out what they want to do. You know, I saw the potential there. You know, there's like probably a thousand parts. And you and just bought out the table. I was the like, table, the table. would you do 20 bucks for this table, 40 bucks for this table, 80 bucks for this room? And, I'm always and she like, was like, yep, yep, that's, yep. And just roped it off. And I'm sitting there just loading up the car, packing like, it to the brill. Where are we gonna put all this stuff? The gills, packed. And it's so funny. People come up and they're like, oh, what are you going to do with all those parts? Are you a repair guy? And it's like, no, but I know somebody on eBay. <laughs> that gonna that needs this. this. <laughs> and then we have this sexy mm -hmm, camo. Mm -hmm. Woodland. Because everybody wants to have sexy camo cam cami. And this is one of those like. I think we got this at the bin. Maybe. It's one of those things where it's like 50 cents or a buck, and you're like, well, it's kind of a sure mover, and it's sold for $12. You know, it's not... It's not big money, but it's... No big deal. It's niche enough. Dremel battery packs. Um, any uh, cordless tool battery pack, they do very well. Uh, this guy sold for $20. Um, $4 pickup. 
here we have, you want to display that oh. beauty. This is a snap-on uh, pin. You said it right, pin. Which would be for your shirt, tie, thigh. It's a little baby wrench. Not your eye. Very cute. And this is actually functional. Like you could, <laughs> you could actually like wrench on some stuff with this thing. But uh, I sold this little collector pen for $24. An antique lineman crimping tool. And of course, I'm not, I didn't like look at it and know that. I, it's, it's got a brand on the inner part here. Searched, looked for identical uh, looking tools. This sold for 35 bucks. This thing is like ready to rust into the ground. Doesn't matter. It's antique, it's cool. Someone's gonna want it. That's what I was thinking. Apple software. You can use, you know, if the, if the state sale doesn't think it's anything special, it's gonna be bulked with all the other software. Finger through it. Um, Apple software does really well. So does Microsoft. Uh, but you just, uh, you wanna look out for if it's like a one-time use versus um, a product key that can just, you pop it in and install it, 19 bucks. And that's kind of on the low end of like what the, you can expect some software to sell for. Sony Walkman. I mean, people, I don't need to tell you about these. Uh, all the cool kids nowadays and back in the 80s, 90s, wanted, had to have this. They're actually coming back in. Hell yeah, they are. And this sold for 35 bucks. As retro. Which is kind of cheap, actually. Um, they're not the original OEM headphones, but they were vintage and they were with it. So I was like, bundle status, super easy to test, pop in some bats. What you want to look out for is if there's corrosion in the battery pack compartment. Because if there is, then and how much does that you're sell for? typically oh, you said it in trouble. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, this guy? This guy sold for 35 bucks. I think you said it. 35 bucks. And then, <laughs> and a lot of I've had this, this for a, a while. Um, Do you have two this was them? really long term. I did, I sold one. This sold for $30 with shipping total. And this Wait. is like a shoe hat oh. tailoring I was gonna form. say we should let them guess what they thought it was in the comments. Is that an Just upside kidding. down boat thing, eh? I don't know who that. I thought it was for yarn. Is that for yarn? Uh, no, I believe it's for um, like crocheting or knitting. Yeah. Hats or whatnot. You said shoe horn. Shoe for form. Oh. Horn? I thought you said shoe horn. <laughs> no, that's like, you know, the thing that goes in your shoe that cobble. Oh. Use. This is one of those things, it's boxed out in the garage, and you're like, you in the box? I don't care what it is. Here we have a water reducing well, you care valve. what it is. Um, you know, at, at the estate sale, they're probably going to price something like this for 10 bucks or less. But these are very expensive when you go to replace them. So, depending on... Yeah. what it's reducing and the size okay. of the valve. You know, if it's commercial, you know, industrial versus residential, um, the price is gonna fluctuate. But this sold for 60 bucks, and I don't remember what I picked it up for, but I'm telling you, it was like probably a couple bucks. Silly. Um, I sold a lot of these Ooh, stuff falling off of it. That's always good. Uh, <laughs> a lot of three of these Lionel uh, train switches. And I think this is this like standard gauge track for 40 bucks. And that was pretty quick turn. Well, it was like a month and a half. I sold some things. This was a shirt that I bought for myself and I wore it once 
And Joshua Train took a really lovely picture with it, but I, I don't remember. It's very cute. Don't really like it's it on me, so I sold it for about it, it, the it, it, same it, it, amount as I paid for it, which is nice. And then just throw it to the side. It's like you know, Q4 Christmas. Get your Christmas stuff listed, guys. Get it. I sold this Get tablecloth, it. which has you know, the holly, jolly, Christmas colors, <laughs> um, for fifty dollars. So, you know, when you go to estate sales or garage sales, 50 bucks. there's always a Christmas room or a Christmas section and Packed. people, you know, like graphic, big printed things. Out of the uh, Monty Shelton uh, special automotive shop here in Portland that closed down late, last year, last, late last year. Uh, I got a box of these, probably about 25 for free. They were free. And I was like, I don't know why these are still it's here. A it's a double sided, you know, it's like the old and the new style um, XK Jaguar. Sold a pair of these for 50 bucks. We have a Sega power adapter, 19 bucks. With like five bucks for shaping. This is a SOG, S O G, para tool. Soggy? Whoop, 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 whoop. 65 bucks. For that? Here we have an Olympus mem card. Whoa! This sold for $22, okay? Don't pass on memory cards. I was just telling you about hobby transformers. I typically sell them on eBay. I figured what the heck, there's a listing on Amazon, I'll throw it on there, $39. It's crazy because there's not as much competition so you can really get top market price. And then lastly, I don't even need to say words because these just sell. This was six, this sold for 65 bucks. I think I paid four or five dollars. What brand is it? Toshiba? Toshiba. VCR and DVD player in one. In one. Now in those one. are the least fun thing to ship. And you really need to take your time to bubble it, uh, shrink wrap it, put in some cardboard inserts and put it in a box. Now it's going to run, I don't think there's any way to, sh unless it's going within your state or like a surrounding state, it's, it's gonna run you 14 to 20 bucks, sometimes more to ship that. And that's just something you wanna factor into your buy cost. Because when you sell on Amazon, they determine how much you're gonna get for shipping. So, and most of the time it's not accurate. Oh yeah. I guess we didn't talk about shipping with any of it. It's well, everything smalls. else was smalls and those, and if they're over a pound, they're going to go in a flat rate envelope. Like this, you'll just. That's going to get cardboard wrapped and go into a flat rate envelope for $6 than... and some change. Yeah. But everything else it's first class. is going to go first class and it's just going to get bubble wrapped cardboard insert and that's going to go in a bubble mailer or a poly bag and first class is around four two dollars and eighty some cents is like the cheapest now and the most expensive is about five dollars and what i do because i don't do free shipping is i just do four dollar 422 or 488 or whatever and that covers first class no matter where it's going in yeah. the country and on a lot of the stuff, I'm doing free shipping now. So I'm just factoring in my shipping into my uh, my, my total cost. And you uh, feel confident. So I'm pricing the item up. Yeah. And then... Uh, you feel confident just considering that you that. know how much it's going to be to ship. Exactly. Like you're not surprised very much anymore. No. But I'm if you're starting out, I'd say put shipping in. I put shipping either a flat cost that in a, for a way you know it's going to ship or... Calculated. calculated based on the weight and the size approximately of the box and well thanks for watching that and... is our monday mail mayhem oh is that what we're calling it now
I guess. And um, we love you all and hope you have a good week ahead of you. Yes. Slay it.